Hi everybody, I'm Justin Boos and I'm here to show you the Artisan Erasers brush pack for the full version of the Painter. This brush pack, just like any full version, will have 15 brushes, uh, which I will go down the list of. Over this imagery that I've created at home of some smeared graphite, I kind of tried to make it look a little depthful, a little less graphite up here, some darker spots, so we can go over what this erasers pack does. Um, I want to start out by saying that most of you have got erasers. If you've bought Painter or if you have Photoshop, you typically have whatever erasers that you um, that already come with the software. Um, pretty basic. Uh, it's a it's a pretty basic function. Uh, so the difference between that and these are these are kind of erasers for effect, and these are going to help you sift through your layers where you have flat spots of color and kind of add some just subtle, um, uh, kind of chaotic, nice textures uh, by erasing lightly through that work. Uh, like I like to recommend with other brush packs, play with the opacity, play with the size, and you're going to get nice, cool, different variations of each brush. Uh, I'm going to start out with the Boca brush, and this one we're all pretty familiar with. Um, this one is, you know, typically we have a light brush when we when, when we are working with, with Boca, but in, in this case we have something that we can kind of back out of different layers with, with uh, some nice little spots. Um, and you can get creative with that. If you're like me, you have a lot of layers, especially when you go to color things. And so this is, has that particular function. You don't have to play with clipping masks or anything. You can just go over it and get some cool effects. Um, the next one is Echo. I really like to play with this brush. Uh, I, this is one I would definitely play with the opacity on, but as you can see where I pressed hard, there's like this cool wisp of texture. And so that's where you're going to want to really play with the opacity because, well, let's pump it down even more. You can kind of see that I've made a cool effect. If, if this were a little layer over here and I had a nice illustration going, I could, I could do some cool, subtle things with that. And so, uh, again, sift through your layers and see how you can add to your work. Electricity is definitely one that if I were to make a bold stroke, it's a pretty bold statement. Maybe you want that. Maybe the artwork calls for that. But pump that opacity down and you're going to get this nice, smooth, electric stroke there. Again, I believe in, in being subtle and kind of, uh, how do you put, humble with my strokes. Um, floaters is something that you can kind of see I've kind of already done over here, but let's go over here. This one's also really subtle and small, but you can just take this for the sake of any little piece that you're just like, ah, I don't want anything too crazy on there. I just kind of want to bring out some texture and, and back out of my layer. Um, this is great for that. Uh, what I have here in the background, by the way, is I've selected what color I wanted it to be behind this layer, and I dropped that in the background. If I had black and I was using an eraser, for this or, or white, it's going to look kind of funny. So make sure you play with that and be mindful of your layers, what's behind it. Um, but overall, you should be able to get some pretty cool effects with this. The halo brush is pretty, you know, pretty bold. So you can take that down in opacity for sure and see what kind of cool little effects that you can get out of it. I get carried away with these, I always say. Let's go to Leaky, and Leaky is just kind of like a nice little, turn the opacity down on that, makes it a little softer there. I'm down to 10%. This one's just kind of a bold, but tiny. You can make just little leaks. We're all kind of familiar with those kind of brushes, but you definitely need one of those if you're messing with this. Um, loops is, is fun because this makes kind of these cool little loops that you can back out of things creatively. I've got it down on 10% right now. And I do that through my keyboard. I press 1 through 0 on my keyboard, and it plays with the opacity, if you didn't know that. It's a basic function, but some people just 
it all it takes is knowing that one thing and you can see how this would give something like a nice feathered effect once you have a few of them uh singular it's kind of like what is that but if you if you got a bunch of them and then you combine it with some cool organic erasers um you can get some cool effects with that let's back out of that however many it will let me here i probably overdid it nope perfect so the next one is metal this one you've got to go kind of over and over again because it's it's a texture brush and i don't really believe in too much of that kind of stuff so i try to keep these kind of brushes subtle kind of like the uh, floaters so you're going to have to make this one big or small i recommend kind of big and go over it over and over again and you can see how the more times i go over it, i'm lifting my pen by the way for every stroke and this really gives you a lot of control of how much of that metal that metallic texture that you can get um, on your canvas whether that's for the effect of the uh the, the the actual thing in the in the painting or you just want your surface to have a, a cool texture noise i uh am obsessed with putting noise in my artwork if you've seen my artwork before and you zoom in um people always ask me what is it that you do to your to your line work i i like to add some noise and then i bring the layer down i like to do it subtly but it really does add up so this is cool i'm kind of excited i should have made this brush a long time ago because you can really just especially if you have that flat color spot in your work you can you can add this to that and um uh it will help you kind of bring that nice just simple texture out nothing crazy just helps your digital work look organic um rattlesnake is something that you kind of want to be careful with your opacity on again you bring it down and you can get some cool effects you can see when it's full opacity it's really a bold thing but you can get kind of a nice echoey effect you can put that in a lot of in a lot of scenarios for some cool illustrations uh rice so i made this one with i always kind of like to think about what if you like put things down and then dropped paint over it to like get the texture um, and I think in like preschool sometimes or something like that you would put rice down and then you'd put you know your paints over it and then you rolled the rice away and it made it always a cool texture uh, if I didn't think about that um, if, if, if I didn't do that I've at least thought a lot about it so this one I want to take advantage of this project and you can change the opacity for the softness but it is going to stay kind of bold just because of what it its function is so let's look at sandy i really like to play with this one and this one's kind of this is coming out the end of my tilt pen here so whatever pen whatever direction my pen is pointed in it's gonna it's gonna come out but you can you can make little soft strokes play with your opacity once more and once you get some things going this kind of has like this cool beach sandy effect and you can add some cool texture there that way sculpt is a multi-line stroke let's back out of this so we can yeah, i made too many strokes and I'm, I'm locked out of my undos there a multi-line effect here you can see it's got nice organic uh, texture to it and if you play with the opacity of that you can get some nice it almost looks like you took some cool textured spoon and you just took a chisel out of it let's go to snow this one stays white for the purpose of snow but it's got some nice blur to it you can make it really big make it really small why would you not want that as an eraser anyways so let's go to stretch and this one is the last on the list but for me i love brushes that do this kind of stuff the multi-line um, calligraphy playing with the opacity of it it can just get really pretty really fast and I like personally to look at these things and try to find little wisps of inspiration and composition that I'll probably fail at later but um, to add this to your artwork if this were a piece of my artwork and to take it at a 10% that's pretty fun um, that is all of the brushes for the Artisan Erasers brush pack for the full version of Painter and Particle Shop. Um, I'm really excited to use some of these in my own artworks colorings and experiment with them. 
Um, and I hope that you are too. And I look forward to seeing what you guys are making around the internet. Thank you guys so much for watching.